actually they'll be available for 24 hours and I need to show the very spot where we're going in and then I'll explain to all the viewers what we're doing as I draw the medicine. So right now I'm trying to find the bone prominence called the acromion and then find the little hole. It's not truly a hole, it's kind of a, a, a dip in behind it right there where we are going to go. So I, I want to make a big circle because I like, and I actually like the uh, antiseptic to go outside of the circle. And then we'll come back and we will, and as you can see, there's lots of parts. People like what they're seeing. So when we come back, we're going to give you a shot. <laughs> can you help my manager say that too? Please? Sure, sure. We'll show you. It'll be up for 24 hours. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go and draw up some medicines. Let me grab Kara so yeah. she can participate. Many of the too. Kara, come on over. We're, we're going to do the shoulder injection. So the medicines I'm going to draw up. Oh, no, no. Um, somebody thinks it looks painful, and I want to assure them the idea sounds painful, but watch. Watch and listen to the patient, because the way we do it here, you're not going to hear a bunch of ouch, ouch, ouch. We, we do a good job in this office. So one of the secrets to not having hurt is this. Uh, this is ethyl chloride. It is a very cold spray. It actually uh, freezes the surface of the skin to numb it up so that they don't feel the needle go in. We use small needles in our office and we use anesthetic. So watch the whole thing. You'll see that it's not a bad experience. Do you have comments you want to read to me? Or? No. Okay. And Carol will read your comments so that... Maybe. So, I'm just, <laughs> that's right. She might block some comments. So the medicine I'm drying up, I'm drying up two medicines in two different syringes. And some of my viewers are familiar with this, the way that I do my joint injections. So he has a problem with lots of arthritis and you're smiling a lot. Are they funny They just comments? say they like you. They wish, <laughs> they wish wish you were their doctor. Oh, that's so nice. They can commute to Auburn. We do have people who commute um, sometimes over 100 miles to an appointment. This person's from New York. Uh, that would be a long commute. Do you think New York would be a long commute for a new patient? Yes. Okay. Because there's, there's people on here from New York. So they think they'd like to have us as their doctor. Aww. Okay, so medicines we're drawing up. One milligram. I'm sorry, not one milligram. One milliliter. It's actually 80 milligrams of the cortisone, and it's not actually cortisone. It's depomedrol or methylprednisolone, but essentially it's what people are referring to when they talk about cortisone shot. Some doctors will use Kenalog instead. It's very similar. I have to keep this in my pocket because I need the number later. I have to throw away the uh, needle. That's just for drawing it. So now we have, you can see it's all milky because cortisone is fat. It's, it's a fat, a steroid. They so asked if it's the same stuff used for rashes. Oh yeah, yeah. They use quite a bit for, somebody left their steroids. Okay, now I'm drawing up lots of anesthetic. Anesthetic numbs things up. And the specific anesthetic I'm using is Marcaine because it's long lasting. He says, does it make you taste metal after the. Not this one. No. I'm talking about different. Get rid of the needle. Because we're going to use small needles for the actual procedure. Oh, there's the computer that this goes in. So we have the spray, we have two syringes with two different medicines, and now we get a very thin needle. And then we're going to go to room two, where the anonymous patient is waiting. Anonymous. Anonymous, yes. Don't show his face. Okay. So we're going to be coming from back here. Can I have you kind of point that, that way? Well, I get some things ready to give you a wonderful shot in the shoulder. All right. Somebody was concerned that it looked like it was going to be painful on uh, on the internet. We uh -huh. want we want to uh, we want you to let them know exactly how it is. Oh, okay. If if there's a surprise, we want you to be surprised. If it hurts, we want you to say ow. Okay. We want it to be completely honest. So first thing we're going to do is freeze it. This might feel cold. So if you say, "Ooh, that's cold," that would be appropriate. Yeah. Okay. If it's not that bad. Ooh, that's cold. It is cold. It's it? it cold. Actually, it is. And then um, what they'll be able to see is the skin actually starts to turn white in color where we're doing this. 
There, did you see that? How it just kind of flashed, kind of white there? We don't want to go too far. You can actually cause frostbite by overdoing it. Yeah, I'm sure you can. It feels pretty doggone cold. It's doggone cold. That must be an English term. It is an English term. Not to identify the patient. <laughs> Nor, nor to tell what your uh, occupation what is. Occupation. That's right. Because some people might come across you sometime. KeithWilliamsJazz.com Don't! Oh, <laughs> did you say jazz? Oh, that's right, because you're a singer. KeithWilliamsJazz.com And you do have a musical coming up. Yes. In fact, I did it. Last you already did the musical? A couple of weeks ago, yes. Yeah, you had uh, one of the main roles, I right? I did, yeah. It was Danny Zuko. That's right. In, in Greece. Greece. In cool California. Yeah, cool California. Are you feeling any pain? No, just a, a real deep numbness. A real deep numbness. Yes. And what we're doing is injecting the cortisone into the joint and then following it with more anesthetic. I like to use lots of anesthetic, and we like to use anesthetic as we come out because this little track here, this needle's coming out of, medicine can be stuck in that track. The last medicine go through the needle, and if it's the cortisone, you can have it do something bad in the skin. It can actually leave it open and not heal closed, and you'll get this fistula where the joint is connected to the outside world through this draining uh, channel. So we irrigate out the needle at the end with the anesthetic to prevent that from happening. Now, go ahead and move your arm around and see how it feels. Yeah. Is that more range of motion than it was before? Uh, a little bit. It's not 100% yet, but I still, I can feel it and behind, on, on the blade behind. Yeah. Um, but That's, it's certainly a lot you, better, and it's just, I can feel it a little bit here. And you're still really limited in abduction. Yes. It's just not even going at all. When I do this, it's the whole shoulder blades yes. coming up. It's not the shoulder joint going Correct. any further. It's yes. the whole yes. shoulder girdle coming yes. up. Um, so you may still have to have that operation with Dr. Williams, but, oh, I, 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 but I'm hoping this will help. We'll get the pain medicine. Thank you. Uh, we want you to do as much as you can range of motion exercises after this. Okay. The anesthetic works right away. That's why you're able to do this yes. now, but okay. it's going to wear off in about five hours. Okay. And it's going to hurt tonight, just okay. like it did. It takes a few days for the cortisone to kick in, but okay. once it does, yes. then it's going to feel a little better. Great. Okay. Let's we'll get this medicine going. Now let me go ahead and turn that around and stop the, uh, the broadcast here, even though we're getting lots of hearts, which I like getting. Uh, if you don't already follow, make sure to swipe right to follow. And Oh, yeah, you're welcome. And they thank you, too. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, share with your friends. Swipe right to share. But until next time, this is Dr. Vaughn telling all of you to stay in good health.